Okay, so I got some of these N95 masks for testing. These are uh, these were from Fry's for two dollars and forty nine cents. They are supposedly certified by the Chinese N95 standard, uh, almost as good, but we don't know until we actually test it. So here goes. Kind of hard to And let's see how these uh, these fit. They do kind of tug on your ears quite quite hard, and it looks like it forms a pretty good seal. I actually don't smell anything. These normally you can smell um, the smell is quite strong. Uh, let's check to see if these are waterproof. That's pretty good. All right, so we know it's waterproof. I think the only thing we need to test now is this, is to actually cut it open. So unfortunately that does mean I'm gonna have to destroy these. So here we go. Let's uh, cut this guy open and see if there's any kind of a electrostatic effect. Now let's count and see how many layers there are in here. Oh, this one, this one's hanging. So I guess layer three does have some electrostatic effect. So that, that piece is hanging there. And the reason this is important is because the actual gaps in the mask are much bigger than the particles that it's filtering. And it's that static electricity that draws the fine pieces to it. So it looks like the middle layer, there's five layers in this, the middle layer has electrostatic effect. So we're going to check to see if any of these layers are flammable. So this layer right here looks like it's not flammable and it's just melting like it should.